Hello friends, welcome to Swiss Spoken English. This is Srinivas and this video lesson 81. Friends, I am very sure after watch this video, there will be a plenty of change in our pronunciation. Yes, this video is helps you to better your English pronunciation, our daily English, so that this video is pronunciation of ED sounds. The pronunciation of ED sounds at the end of past tense verbs. Friends, in many competitive exams also, we have full of dilemma which is in what way we have to pronounce the right word ED sound. Yeah, before we start the video, let's be see some of the words. For example, C O O K E D. This ED form, of course, this ED adds in the simple past, of course, in the past participle forms. ED. What is it? Many of Indian teachers cooked, looked, see that, walked. They pronounce like that. Is it the right, right way? No. So, my dear teacher friends, I would like to request you and please keep watch this video till the end. There will be a better pronunciation, better sounds in English, daily English. So that, how do we pronounce cooked? Actually, the k sound, final consonant sound is voiceless. That's why we have to, yes, end the sound t, cooked, walked, looked, like that. Next, come to the C-A-L-L-E-D, what we call called, smelled. In that way, we are, Indian teachers can pronounce, but it is, is it a right way? No. We have to just disarm, disarm, called, called, smelled, not a smelled, called. Next, yeah, we can move want and the past participle and past simple form wanted. Actually, yes, this ed is pronounced like it. Say. Unstressed sound, unstressed vowel sound, wanted, it, wanted, needed, rounded. So, in that way we can pronounce, friends, in this way we may pronounce our daily English sounds, of course these past verb forms. Actually, when do we form ed verb forms? Yeah, basically we know that. The verbs are two types, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Of course, what are the irregular verbs? Irregular verbs, the three forms of the verb can be changed into three different forms. For example, see, saw, seen. These three verb forms can be changed as three different forms. One more example, go, went, gone. So, these are three in a different ways. So these are called irregular verbs. Of course, it comes to the regular. Actually, the regular verbs can be the second and third forms of the verb are same. For example, walk, walked, walked. So verb two, verb third, two and third forms are the same. And for example, cook, cooked, cooked. So the ED form will be added in the second and third form in the regular verbs. So that we can, regular verb means here these two forms, are past simple and past participle forms are the same. So that we can add ED forms, ED sound. Okay, yes, how do we produce this ED sound basically? Yeah, friends. This video and the previous video sound also very important for competitive exams. Of 
course group 1 group 2 and for general exam general english competitive exams also these sounds are very important so that observe carefully till the end of this video friends yes the pronunciation of words ending in ed sound depends on final consonant sound in that word yes this ed sound depends on the final consonant sound in a word of course there are three ways to pronounce ed sound at the end of a word in english of course these are the three simple ways to produce ed sound of course one of the id id sound and id sound and t sound t. and here so friends when should we use it sound at the end of a verb actually if your verb ends in infinitive form ends the sound with the t, t consonant sounds at the end of past verbs we can use the id sound actually the id is an extra syllable which is unstressed vowel sound unstressed vowel sound we have to pronounce the in sound with low pitch low pitch so for example the verbs ended with t example want wanted not wanted wanted grant granted wait waited not waited they waited no they waited so it this it is pronounced very unstressed sound we, we don't want to utter the sound it's very low pitch in voice and one more sound accept accepted waste wasted wasted paint painted so this id id sound can be used the end of the t sound the end of a t sound in the past verb forms of course the it sound can be also use the d sound for example a verb ends with the d sound like need splend plead okay we can use need needed plead pleaded splend splendid bounds bound sorry bound bounded round round it mould mould it so friends here needed example i needed some money at the situation i needed not needed i needed some money in that particular situation for example pleaded i pleaded my lecturer i pleaded my teacher pleaded and of course here wanted he wanted a job in that company she wanted some money so wanted granted so it is sound friends next we move on to the d sound d d d, d sound when should we use that d sound for example if a verb ends with voice sounds for example voice sounds we know very well in the phonetic video in the phonetics video previous video we have discussed clearly what are the voiced consonants what are the unvoiced consonants right so the d sound if a verb ends with the voiced consonant sound for example n n l r g or j v j z z b m or some of the oval sounds okay before these voiced after these voiced sounds of verb ending we have to use d sound for example clean your yeah, n sound of course this d sound can be used at the end of n sound okay 
this is yeah what are the voice actually if you put your fingers on your throat you may get some vibration while producing the voice consonant sounds of course for example b n l g so such way we get some vibration on our vocal cords so that we can easily find out these are the voice sounds so after voice sounds we have to add the past form of ed d sound okay yes these voice sounds voice sounds comes from the throat not from the mouth okay friends yes for example clean cleaned this ed pronounced d cleaned attain attained assign assigned okay friends next l next voiced sound yeah l the a word ends with l of course the ed pronounced as called smell smelled roll rolled not rolled called so this is the way which differs a native speaker and the learning speaker okay so please show the exact pronunciation say the pro exact pronunciation and try to speak as native speakers friends yes next a word ends with another consonant yeah why is it sound uh, offer offered alter altered next j sound for example j arrange arrange arranged arranged not arranged arranged damaged damaged next another w, w sound v. love loved i loved it i loved it prove proved curled 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 next j j sound use use z used sound used supervised closed d and next z sound amazed freezed next b sound rubbed many of our teachers can be say rubbed bobbed so no rubbed rubbed described described but described okay friends next we move on yeah another m mm, voiced sound ends with the m mm. claim claimed ashamed ashamed aim aimed these yeah along with these voiced sounds if a word ends with vowel sound like play a play a ends with oval a sound and of course this ed also pronounced as d played enjoyed followed tried continued so friends this is the d sound very careful with the voice it sounds we have to use the d sound whenever a, if a verb ends with the voice it sounds like n l g like this voice it sounds yeah this is the another third way most important and of course most beautiful sounds in the t sound t after verb when should we use t sound if a verb ends with ends with voiceless consonant sounds for example p if a word if a verb ends with p k f, f sh ch s s k s so these are the voiceless sounds friends we know very well these voiceless sounds can produce not from the throat these voiceless sounds can be produced from the front of the mouth for example you say p p not here p so this p sound can be produced from the 
front part of the mouth only. K, p, f, g, f. So these are the voiceless sounds, friends. If the voiceless, yeah, if a verb ends with the voiceless sound like this, yes, we have to use t sound. T. For example, jump, jumped. It is not actually many of our English teachers and many of our teachers. It's very very important those who are dealing not only for English teachers, those who are dealing English medium. So this video is very much helpful to all the teachers who are dealing English medium especially. We are uh, we have as much some responsibility to produce some sounds in accurately so that this video is very much helpful to you to develop your sounds, effective sounds in a better way so that if your verb ends with P, P so automatically we can say jumped not jumped, looked, no jumped after P it will be T sound, jumped okay, yes and help, helped, no helped T sound okay this T sound can be pronounced instead of the ED sound okay helped jumped mapped mapped yeah next we come to the K sound K K sound yes of course we can be pronounced looked no it's a blender it's an error so looked I looked a picture he the cat jumped the cat jumped over a wall. Kick, kicked. Here, what is the phonetic transcription? Yes, kicked. This is the phonetic transcription. Kicked, kicked. Okay, looked, not d. Looked, no, looked, kicked. Booked, b o o k e d. Booked. He booked a ticket. He booked. Next, sniff. A word ends with f sound. Why another voiceless? Automatically, this ed sounds pronounced as t. Sniffed. Laughed. It's not laughed. Laughed. Wash. Washed. Smashed. Brushed. Next, watch. Of course, this t sound. T. This sound also yeah after a, any kind of a past verb ends with ch sound it will be pronounced as watched matched matched not matched matched next a, another verb ends with s sound double s sound automatically the ed pronounced as kissed it is yeah she kissed the baby i kissed the baby kissed missed she missed the opportunity. She missed. She missed the opportunity. Yes. Missed. Next. She missed. Next. She danced. 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 She danced very well in the program. X. Next sound. X. K plus S. X. Fix. Fixed. The program has been fixed. Mixed. It is not mixed, mixed. It has been mixed into the brain. It is mixed, fixed. So that in these three effective ways, which we are produce a better sounds after yes, the verb form, past verb forms, it is sound. So friends, this video is I hope and strongly believe that this video is very much helpful to you to produce these ED sounds in a better way. So friends, if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button which is the given below here and you will get a plenty of latest videos like this. So thank you very much and catch you later in next video.